Hello students, welcome back. Today we will discuss about classification of insects. Uh, insects are basically belong to uh, phylum Arthropoda and it is characterized by three pairs of legs. This insect, it has one, two, three, three pairs of luck and it belongs to category invertebrates. Invertebrates. We will go more into detail of uh, the classification of insects. First we, first we will see the characteristics of uh, phylum arthropoda. The first of the characteristics we can see the body is segmented, it has appendages and appendages are modified into feet like you can see in the picture the body is segmented, the appendages are modified into mandibles which help them to feed. These are the first three characteristics of phylum. The next, the next typical characteristic are like the exoskeleton is made of chitin. This is a hard structure which protects the insects from an in, uh, external environment. It is made up of uh, nitrogen, nitrogen stuff, uh, polysaccharides, nitrogen polysaccharide. Here you see the formula of the same. The fifth uh, characteristic are the compound eyes, the presence of compound eyes. Like in this case of uh, fly, you can see there is a presence of compound eyes there. The typical characteristics. The next characteristic which is very um, prominent are the presence of hemocell instead of colon like in uh, mammals and in other vertebrates we have colon. Here is, you have hemocell, hemocell portion in the, in the stomach area. Then the other characteristic are no cilia is present. The surface of the body doesn't have any cilia. It is an important characteristic of this particular phylum. The other characteristics are like presence of ventral nerve cord and the dorsal vein. Now here you can see it's a ventral nervous system and they have ganglions in between and the dorsal brain. The last characteristic which we see in the in this particular phylum are the symmetricity of the body. Here you can see the body is very symmetric. In other case you see in the coral it's radially symmetric, in the sponge it's not symmetric and here in the case of insect is the body is uh, symmetric on both sides. This is an important characteristic of this particular phylum. Now classifying this uh, particular phylum is a phylum Arthropoda. Arthropoda. Now we can now now we can divide the phylum Arthropoda into uh, four subclasses. The first subclass is Crustacea. Crustacea. Is the first subclass, and the next subclass is uh, you can say uh, Arachnida. Second subclass. The, the third subclass is Myriapoda, Myriapoda, and the fourth subclass is Hexapoda, Hexapoda. So we have Crustacea. Arachnida, Myriapoda and Hexapoda. Hexapoda is also called as Insecta. So C A M H. So this is a four, four classes uh, under the phylum Arthropoda. Now we will see the, what are the examples under the different uh, classes. In case of Crustacea, we have um, examples like Lobster. Lobster, crab. These have a typical crust on the surface of the body. That's why they are defined as crust. Mostly, we have seen that um, insects find in uh, marine environment. They have this type of crust. That's they protect their body from the help of crust. That's called crustacea. The other class is Arachnida. Arachnida is a class where we have. Um, insects like scorpions, spiders, ticks. These are the uh, examples of uh, Arachnida class. Uh, the other class is Myriapoda. They have, we have uh, in this category, we have like in the series of uh, example, we see uh, the centipede and the millipede. These are the example of. Uh, Centipede and millipede are example of uh, the class uh, Myriapoda, and the last class which we, uh, we we basically dealing with insects. So the last class is Insecta. 
we have seen the characteristics of hexapod. Uh, so this is last category. Here we have a lot of insects. We have uh, in this category we have uh, all the insects like uh, like ant. We have cockroaches. We have termites. Etc. comes under this particular category of hexapod. So uh, we have categorized, uh, we have seen the characteristics of the uh, phylum arthropoda and the various uh, uh, classes under which uh, this insects come and the examples of the various classes. So just briefing up uh, under the <coughs> classification of invertebrates, we have arthropoda, then we have crustacea. And the four classes are divided into arthropoda, phylum is divided into four classes, crustacea, arachnida, myriapoda, and hexapoda, C A M H. In the further session, we will deal more into the hexapoda classification and we will go more into detail of that, the orders under the classes of uh, insect class and uh, on various examples related to that particular classification. Thank you.